Hey guys, welcome back to Recap Cinema, today I'm going to explain a sci-fi thriller movie called Godzilla King of the Monster. The film picks up where part 1 left off, when Godzilla destroyed two monsters, it had been 5 years since the tragedy, Emma is the woman we see, she was the mother of a girl, she was employed by the organization, the goal of this organization was to locate these species, their home was located in the middle of the woods, an explosion occurs unexpectedly near their home. Both the mother and the girl were terrified and sought help from the organization, they see that this thing has just entered the world, that is, it has been born, as soon as she notices all of the people surrounding her, she becomes nervous, it begins to assault them, Emma possessed a gadget capable of calming its rage, in reality, the gadget actually decreased the frequency in the vicinity of the organism, she is perfectly calm when she hands the gadget to this beast, they were thrilled with this victory. However, a guy named Alan appears, he was eager to have this gizmo, as a result, he flees with Emma and her daughter, he believes that mankind has neglected the planet Earth, they messed with the natural order, he desired to resurrect the animals, he transports them to the organization's other branch, a gathering opposing Emma's group was conducted there. There were also other scientists from this organization present, they wish to preserve the environment, Emma and her kid are taken here, and a doctor is informed, he rushes to Emma's ex-husband after hearing it, that apparatus was created by him, the doctor explains his goal to him. He, on the other hand, refuses to accept it, then he informs him that it has the potential to reunite him with his family. After considerable persuasion, he agrees, then they walk to their control room, which is located beneath the water, they caught a beast wherever there was a chapter of this organization. They'd come to capture this beast, they then attempt to locate Godzilla, when they hunt for Godzilla, however, they detect no signal, suddenly, the frequency rises, Godzilla appeared to be close by and enraged, everyone is terrified until Godzilla appears, he was now in the sea, on his way to them, he begins shattering the glass there, in fact, he used to go by sea to every nation. When he sensed the presence of a hazardous beast, now he's off to Antarctica in search of the beast, they also understand why he went there in the first place, why is he so eager to go there? As a result, they go after him, as he approaches, we notice a massive dragon waiting for him, King Giro was a three-headed creature. He had not yet been put to sleep by this organization, and he had been deactivated, he had a competitor in Godzilla, Godzilla would frequently come here to battle him. When the doctor arrives to save Emma, he is taken aback to see that she is siding with Alan, she'd come up with a strategy to rouse that beast. She is adamant about not accompanying them, she breaks the dragon's glass as she walks, he'd been triggered and was now entirely outdoors, Godzilla had been waiting for this opportunity to battle him. They have a lot of fights, the monster then attacks Godzilla and proceeds to attack the other individuals, when Emma sees it, she becomes concerned that things will continue to go wrong, she activates the gadget, which cools the monster down, as a result, no one is harmed by that monster, Emma then departs with Alan, those folks, on the other hand, must go, people from the organization were behind the monster's plan to assassinate him, Emma, on the other hand, makes a video call to them, she explains why she decided to join the opponents. You are not deserving of my company, you wreak havoc on the environment and animals, I'll set each creature free, one at a time, this planet was wronged by you, these species may be able to assist us, because of the radiation in their bodies, they have the ability to repair the earth as they move through it, when members of the organization indicate they want to kill people, how do you regard them as your companions? She claims that you are incorrect. We had been living together for quite some time, everything was in its proper place. We didn't say anything to them, and they didn't say anything to us, so we took care of them, do you want them to sit quietly without defending themselves because they did something wrong to you? She promises to release them, she then hangs up the call, she starts out on her quest, since she stated that they will release all creatures free, everyone was concerned that if she continued in this manner, we would be doomed, as she progresses, Emma frees another species, he was born on a volcano, that volcano was located in a densely populated region, the entire city was housed there. She loses her humanity and becomes ruthless, she merely desired to set the animals free, the beast that emerged from the volcano was enormous, from the air, the army strikes him, he was going to strike them when he abruptly fled, because King Monster had arrived at the location, Emma set it free in the sea at the start, both of them battle, and because the King Monster is so powerful, he severely injures Godzilla, from fluency, when Godzilla came from the water, he was going to attack them, he, on the other hand, assaults them, one of Godzilla's three heads gets severed and thrown away. Both of them got into a violent brawl, it appeared to be unstoppable, everything was destroying itself, and everyone was terrified. They, on the other hand, believed in Godzilla, the army informs the organization that during the conflict, we developed a missile, 
that rocket destroys anything within a two mile radius, we're going to lob a missile at the beast to destroy it, we feel compelled to slay Godzilla alongside him, they requested that they proceed a little farther, they travel a considerable distance. The army is now launching this missile into the sea, a massive explosion erupts, Godzilla is hurt and has to be thrown away, however, we can see that the king monster has not been harmed, they helped him by eliminating Godzilla, he then rests on that volcano and sprouts a new head, he sends out a signal, and all of the world's creatures awaken, because the rocket failed to kill the monster, everyone was concerned, it implies that he was extremely powerful, they begin to look for ways to beat him, then they discover that he isn't a creature from earth, but rather a visitor from outer space, as a result, Godzilla desired to eliminate him. Godzilla was a true monarch, after all, he didn't want anybody else to take his spot, other creatures have begun to appear, after that, the monster from the beginning appears, she was born into that company, she is portrayed as Godzilla's companion in this film, she starts singing for him when she can't find his signals, Godzilla's signals have now been discovered by members of the organization, they learn that he is still alive in this town, she travels to a location where Godzilla formerly resided, they track him down to the ocean's depths, then they see many artifacts around them, we learn here that humans and Godzilla have coexisted for a long time, Godzilla owned this location, when he was injured as a result of the missile blast, he came here to recover, this location was extremely radioactive, this was a location where they could repair their bodies, the doctor suggests that they detonate a nuclear device here, he'll be able to replenish his energy more quickly, the doctor then gives Godzilla some nuclear pills, meanwhile, their squad takes a step backward to avoid the blast. The doctor bids his last goodbyes to Godzilla as he touches his body for the last time, there was a massive explosion, under the sea, everything is destroyed, it provided a lot of vigor to Godzilla, Emma's daughter attaches a microphone to the device, she activates the frequency in order for the creatures in their immediate vicinity to relax, however, King Monster believes it was done by a human, then he pursues them, intending to murder them, then Godzilla appears, and the people assist Godzilla in defeating the monster, Godzilla, on the other hand, lacked the necessary might to vanquish him, that creature was on the verge of killing Godzilla when his buddy creature appeared, she engages in combat with the king monster. However, another monster intervenes and stops her, both of them battle again in this scene, with Godzilla's companion beast killing him, after that, she encounters Godzilla, because of the radiation, Godzilla's energy level was full, however, he was sufficiently hurt to prevent him from defeating him, here, Godzilla's ally monster makes a self-sacrifice, she screams at herself, Godzilla's body begins to absorb the radiation emitted by his body, it begins to cure his wounds, he emerges as a formidable beast once more, Emma is now shown with his daughter and ex-husband. Emma now uses her invention to keep the other animals cool, however, something begins to pursue her, people from the organization as well as the army had left, Emma was ready to be killed by King Monster, Godzilla begins to compete with him, but the King Monster responds by hurling fire at him, Godzilla was well aware that his energy reserves were depleted and that he could easily overcome him, finally, he strikes him and kills him, everything seems to be in order now, all of the animals then bow in front of Godzilla, now the Godzilla is the king of animal world. The movie ends here, thank you for watching. At the beginning of the cinema, a young Michael is seen visiting an old house with his parents. Michael's mother was expecting a kid, and Michael's parents were pleased with the prospect of their child's coming. As a result,